welcome aboard. Uh, if you guys are watching this intro, that means that we just successfully took a Sunseeker Predator 63 from San Francisco to Marina del Rey, California. And if you enjoy what you're about to see, be sure to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell notifications. That'll really help out a young page a lot. If you enjoy this video, be sure to check out the video of how we prepared to do this trip. Preparation is most of these whole trips. So uh, go check out and see how we did that. Uh, give you a little spoiler alert. We didn't follow the preparation really at all, but that's what happens when uh, you get out, things change. We didn't get the fuel economy we thought we were gonna get or the weather window that we thought we were gonna get. So go ahead and be sure to watch that so you can see how we're affected by real life conditions every day out here on the water. I will see you guys inside Marina Del Rey Harbor, hopefully here in about two hours. So we made it to Sausalito. Um, it's a little breezier than I thought it would be, but the sun's out. And if you look behind me this direction, that over there is where the San Francisco bridge is, which is all fogged in. We just came over the bridge. So we're hoping that it kind of blows through, but the weather is a lot better than it was supposed to be the week prior. We should get good weather all the way down. So uh, I'm gonna do some engine room checks. Um, we'll get the cover off the back of the boat here and uh, my crew Nick and Neil are playing house down below with all the food we just got so once they finish cleaning that up we'll clean some of these windows up once the windows are cleaned up I'm gonna fire this up and get it running once I do my engine room check down here below engine check looks good we are good on coolant and oil. The generator actually looks like it just had new oil in it, so that's good. Get these keys turned, and we're full on water, so we're good with water. And we'll get the engine fired up here shortly. The plan initially when you were gonna come out here the first time was gonna be to go to Morro Bay for the night and then keep going, but yesterday was Memorial Day and we weren't able to get out here until this morning. So after flying out in the morning and then going and doing all of our shopping and everything, um, it's now about a little after midday here. So instead, since we have a good weather window right now, we are going to just leave and we'll probably run through the night and then end up in Marina del Rey sometime, probably this time tomorrow, hopefully, probably earlier than this time tomorrow. If for whatever reason the weather's not great or uh, we don't think we can make it, we'll stop in Morro Bay again and, and anchor up and leave in the morning. But otherwise, everything looks good. So uh, keep you guys updated. So we're off. We've left Sausalito. We are uh, heading towards the Golden Gate Bridge to open ocean. Got Nick right here. That's Neil. Neil over there. Close enough. <laughs> the wind is not awesome right now, but it looks like it's only supposed to be not awesome where we are currently, and that down the coast will be fine. The wind isn't as bad as it was when we canceled last week. So even though it's, it's not like super calm out right now, it's not too windy for us to leave. But besides that, we'll head out here, we'll go into the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, get some music going and enjoy the daylight we have left. channel about to go to the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, the winds picked up and we're taking it over the convertible top which we're gonna close but not until we get under the bridge because that's way too cool of a, of a view to close it on. Neil not freezing whatsoever. Over not here. at all. Feeling good baby. Nick hypothermic already. <laughs>
hopefully you can hear me. It's kind of loud. We've been out here for about an hour offshore. A little, probably a little longer than an hour. We've got the boat all set up in autopilot to take us down the coast. All of our gauges read good. We're not overheating. Everything seems to be working properly. Uh, Nick just asked a great question about what our target speed is. The answer to that is that we don't really have a target speed. We're just trying to keep good speed over a period of time so that we can determine our fuel rate, our fuel burn. We're hoping to be off Monterey in another two hours. And then once we're off Monterey, it'll be a good point for me to determine like how far we've gone and how much fuel we've used. Uh, we're only a little bit getting close to three quarters of a tank of fuel. So we're not even halfway between a full tank and three quarters tank yet. So I think we're gonna be pretty solid at the speed. Uh, Neil's already asleep. He pretended to work for about an hour and he's in he's in the bedroom already sleeping. What else do we have going on? There's some whales off our port bow. We saw it jump all the way. I think it's massive. We saw it jump all the way out of the water. It's pretty neat. We don't usually see that down, down south. Anyways, we'll keep you updated. You can see how the weather's a lot nicer now. It was really bad when we were uh, going into the bridge something else we got the top up to stay out of the sun but we got to be careful to leave the window open so that any wind doesn't come back in and bring an exhaust with it that's about it for the uh, hour and a half in update so we pretty much just stopped filming and uh, that first whale we saw turns out is in a giant pot of whales so we've actually taken it off autopilot and we're steering around them hitting a whale isn't super common, but it's not super uncommon either, I guess. Usually they're hard to find, but these ones just keep popping up right in front of us. Neil's still asleep, missing all of it. We had to put the top up so we could see better because we're navigating through another big pot of whales. Luckily the birds stay right over them, so it's pretty easy to see where they are. They're also giant whales. Update, not much has happened since we saw the whales. Uh, we threw the drone up and got a little drone video of them. But other than that, it's been pretty uneventful. Ocean's about the same, wind's been down. We're getting ready for our first shift, which Neil's gonna take. At eight o'clock, what we'll do when the sun dies off entirely, we'll pull our speed back a little bit, conserve some fuel. We're gonna time it perfectly so when Neil goes for his shift, Nick will go for a shift after that, and then I'll come up and we'll round point conception. Did an engine room check. Everything looks good down there. That's about it. It's gotten a little chillier. Looks like we're kind of getting into more fog, either that or darkness. Check in with you in the morning. All right, good morning. It's, uh, what time is it? 5.30. I've been on shift since 2 a.m. I'll probably be on for another 30 minutes to go wake up Neil when the light comes out outside. It's just about dawn. I think it would have pretty good visibility with the light already. If it wasn't so foggy, but it's pretty foggy right now. Currently just rounding point conception. So we're going around the 
corner there. First corner. I know it's called Puerto Guaylo, I believe. I have difficulty pronouncing it. And we're cutting it tight because we're gonna go to Santa Barbara. It wasn't part of the plan, but we're just not getting the uh, the fuel range that we were expecting to get. Which is a bummer, because not only are we not getting the range we expected to get, but I don't even think we're getting, like I think we're getting even less than I gave us room for. I gave us an extra 100 or so miles in my math and uh, we're not even gonna cover that. Don't wanna cut it too close. We're gonna go into uh, Santa Barbara to get fuel. We've slowed the boat down to conserve fuel. We're only going at about 800 RPMs now. We were going at about 1200 RPMs earlier, but 1200 was just using too much. So we went down to 10, 10 was using too much. Now we're down to eight. We're probably gonna go get Neil up here and let him do a uh, little hour and a half stint or so. So I can try to go get more sleep. But put you guys up when we're in Santa Barbara, get some more fuel, and then once we're in Santa Barbara, I'm gonna try to fall. It's raining all right. It's supposed to be windy this afternoon. It's pretty nice right now, but I can already tell it's picking up a little bit. It's pretty early, so I'll talk to you soon. All right, it's morning. It's about nine o'clock. We got the crazy hair going. And uh, we are about 30 minutes out of Santa Barbara. You can see the weather is uh, a little bit of a fog, but not a horrible fog. Uh, ocean itself, very calm. We've sped up a little bit. We're back up to about 19 knots. We're at that speed because we saved a lot of fuel over the last six hours rounding Point Conception slowly. So, but we didn't save enough fuel to not make it all the way to Marina del Rey. So we're gonna run to Santa Barbara really quick. Probably take on another 200 gallons of fuel and then that'll get us all the way back into Marina del Rey and uh, I'm hoping we'll end up in Marina del Rey around, it'd be great to be there around one or two, but I don't know if it'll work. Nick and Neil are downstairs, uh, messing with the shower, I think. Um, we got a little breakfast. Got a little cheese plate out. That's pretty much it. So hopefully we'll be back soon. Everything else looks good. All right, so we're in Santa Barbara at the fuel dock. We're gonna take on 200 gallons, and then we're gonna head all the way into Marina del Rey. I have a few theories on why we didn't get as good a few mileage as I thought we would. One of them is I think the boat's heavier than it was when they tested it. We have a lot more water on board and more fuel. So I think overall it's heavier and getting worse mileage. Two, I don't think the engines are running as efficiently as they did 20 years ago when that test was conducted. I mean, it makes sense that they're trying harder for less efficiency. And then three, I think the gauge might be a little funny. It definitely works, but when we were between half a tank and a quarter of a tank, the gauge dropped between the half tank and quarter tank in like over like three hours. But the, uh, once we hit a quarter tank, it held out a quarter tank for like eight hours. So I don't know if like air settled and the gauge just moved a lot, but um, based off how the quarter tank gauge was holding, we probably could have made it to Marina del Rey, but if we did, we would have went in on like zero fuel. So we're in Santa Barbara now. We're gonna top, not top off, but put in about 200 gallons. We'll head out and uh, just cruise all the way back to Marina del Rey. And we should be there by hopefully two o'clock depending on how long this field trip takes us.
So after what has been almost exactly 24 hours, we have made it to Marina Del Rey, California. Still, uh, still cloudy. It's been cloudy everywhere we've gone, but the ocean was great. We're gonna take the boat back to its new home, its new slip. Uh, we're gonna meet the owner, the uh, owner's other captain that does this bigger boat. This trip wasn't, or this video I should say, wasn't sponsored by the owner of this boat, but he does have a charter company that does these boats that made this possible and he sponsored our voyage down here. So we'll give him a shout out at Side Hustle Yachts. Go check him out, it's really nice, 74 foot. Now he's got this one, 63 feet, um, you'll love him. You see, if you go out with Captain Levi, tell him I said hi. We're gonna go get this thing in the in the slip and uh, pack her up and head on back to Orange County. Oh